Hello everybody, my name is Sydney Tran and I am a second year tutor at the Edison Writing Center and today we will be going over how to use Excel in your biology lab reports. So, science and Excel. I know what you're all thinking, um, biology has a lot of uses in Excel? Well, it turns out that besides being used in finances, um, business and marketing, economics and such, Excel is used quite frequently in biology, especially when we're displaying data in graphs because there's no better way to display your data in a visually, in a more visually appealing way than graphs. Graphs, 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 it's all about the graphs. So how do we get those fancy lines, bars, shapes and such? And those are um, formed by some several calculations in Excel called mean, standard deviation, and SEM, or SEAM, SEM. I like to say SEAM, but feel free to call it whatever you like that floats your boat. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. So a couple weeks ago, my IB bio class and I, we were measuring lizard lengths and such, and these were the recorded um, results I got. So this is my raw data, and I want to be able to transfer this raw data onto a graph by using Excel commands and calculations. So I like to divide my data and not keep it in one column. Not only it's because it's more organized, but these are two different species. So of course it makes sense if you're a scientist and you would, so you would want to put them in different columns. All right. So the, I, I usually like to start with the very easiest one, which would be mean, AKA known as average. So what I like, I usually like to do is that at the very end, I wrote the very end column, last column. I don't know what people call it again, but I like to make stretch it out just a little bit bigger, you know, not too big. Oops, you know, like that. And at the end right here, after the sense, you have like another clean empty row. That's where I like to enter my values. And usually when you do your calculations and such, it's gonna end up wherever you command it to be. I like to make it underneath along with the label. All right, so first things first, we're gonna do mean. And before I usually do my commands, I like to point or pinpoint where my cells are gonna be. So my set of data for species one is located in A2 to A11. And that's gonna be very helpful later on. All right, so every Excel calculation starts with an equal sign. No equal sign, no command, and you're gonna end up with a bunch of errors. And here we, let's get started. Equal sign, and the um, Excel command for me is average. So we're gonna type in average right there. And then this is gonna pop up if you click on it, number one, number two. Number one is basically our first cell, which we pinpointed earlier, which was A2. Number two would be A11. So we're going to type that in, A2, and then you're going to put a colon to start your next cell, which would be A11. And you already have your parentheses that close off. You can see here that this highlighted the entire section that we wanted to, and enter, and there we go. That's our mean for the first set of data. So let's go here we'll do it again for species 2 average and then b2 to b11 colon and don't forget to close it if you don't close it it won't calculate it or maybe it will I don't know but just close it <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure you have to close it all right um, let's see here now we will go to standard deviation so again I like to label my things just to make it easier there we go so in this case our standard deviation value is going to be right here okay and now for our command it's going to be equal sign st div or standard deviation now 
when for standard deviation in Excel, there are all different types of ways they calculate standard deviation depending on how you use it, when you use it, and um, in other circumstances too. <clears throat> but in this case, in science, we're going to use dot s. There we go. And now a 2, like earlier, and a 11, parentheses is here, enter. And that is our standard deviation value for the first set of species. Great. Now for the second species, again, enter, equals sign, stdv dot s, parentheses, oh, not, okay, and b2, colon, b11, and close your parentheses. And that is your second standard deviation value. All right, now for our last Excel command, we are to do, gonna do seam, sam, whatever, you know, there's a lot of ways people call it. Now, the thing with Excel and seam is that Excel does not provide a um, formal command for seam, but instead you actually have to enter it manually. But luckily this is a tutorial, so we are gonna learn how to put it in manually. <laughs> So first of all, equal sign, and now you're going to type in stdv.s, which is standard deviation. You're going to enter your cell numbers, which is A2 to A11, not A1, A2. Make sure you look at your keyboard once in a while to make sure you're not entering the wrong values. Close your parentheses. Now after that, you're going to put in a slash sign. And then you are going to put in square root, or SQRT, parentheses, count. And then put in your cell numbers again. So that would be A2 to A11. Close it. I put 2 here because we're closing for count and for square root. And enter and that is our seam value for the first species we did it yay perfect now we're going to do it again so hopefully we got this all right standard deviation dot s this time we're going to use b2 to b11 because that's where our set of data is so b2 colon b11 parentheses slash square root, parentheses, count, and again, our cell values. B2 to B11, make sure you close everything, so don't forget your extra parentheses right there. And now we're gonna press enter, and that is our second scene value for us for species two or second species. And there you go, guys. So hopefully you found this tutorial or screencast very useful. And hopefully you'll also reference this to your other bio lab reports, which you'll probably get in the future. So yeah, please um, leave a thumbs up, comment, like, um, do whatever your heart pleases, and check out some other Edison Writing Center videos on our YouTube page. Bye and good luck!